Is Binance about to go absolutely bonkers with Luna Classic burning? I'm going to break this down for you because there's something going on here and you see a very weird sort of pattern that was repeating and now suddenly it's accelerated. I'm going to explain what I mean here. I'm going to show you this wallet. There's 20 billion Luna Classic in this wallet right now. It's been accumulated in about a month and it looks like it could be for burns or some kind of purpose being served by Luna Classic. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's check this out now. All right, guys, primarily speaking, this is a wallet and Jay over at Happy Caddy Crypto is tracking this right now. So if you want more clarification of this, by all means, go check him out right now. He's got a video out on it, but there's 20 billion, 111 million uh, Luna Classic in this wallet right now, valued at about 1.8 million. Now listen, Here's what's going on. This wallet was created at the end of August, and then it was funded with about 16 billion Luna Classic in one move over here on September 2nd. Now, if you continue to move along here, you'll see on the 14th that there were just 4.444 Luna Classic moved over here. There's something going on. Now, there's nothing specific that you can really put your finger on when you see it. It's just it's always 4.4. And then all of a sudden, we've gotten this move right here where a 1.3 billion was thrown into this wallet, 1.5 billion was thrown into this wallet, uh, and then three days later, 1 billion was thrown into this. So something is going going on over here. Why is Binance, who's been leading the burn charge, moving so much into this wallet all of a sudden? Now, ultimately, as you can see right here, this is now the number 45 overall wallet. So this is a significant portion of supply. Now, there are a number of different explanations that there could be for it, primarily among them that they're going to move it to another of their uh, Binance, you know, you've got Binance Turkey, you've got the, the normal Binance, you've got Binance.us. So it could be that they're preparing this as a wallet for a new centralized exchange, but more likely they're taking a more aggressive approach to burning. Remember, we've seen multiple burns coming from Binance out of nowhere just recently. So this could be an indicator that there is something massive that they are considering and they've come up with some kind of mechanism internally by which they are going to help make this thing kind of move. And we still don't know, we don't have clarification on what CZ Binance might be doing. Uh, and, and if any of his affiliations, any of his agreements, any of his partnerships, anything that he's doing is gonna be related to Luna Classic. So there is a, a real sense here that something big could happen. So uh, the more we get on this, the more we'll let you know. So just keep, stay tuned in and uh, let's move on here. Uh, as far as meme, co meme coins go, you can see here that we've had kind of a little drawdown in price action uh, for the moment. A lot of... Uh, a lot of nervousness in the market and a lot of surging going on with Bitcoin. We've seen that, but look, we don't we don't come along with it. Um, the old saying, "A rising tide raises all boats," that does apply. But generally speaking, Bitcoin's going to have to eat first before everything else does. So, uh, and, and by the way, you can see Terra over here having a nice little run and Juris up a little bit on the day. So there are some kind of bright spots here but what we need is we need more people coming into this ecosystem and, and and doing meme coin trading and then we'll see an enormous spike off of some of these and i give you clarity on friday that terra uh terraport had passed their governance proposal uh, i'm going to give you a little bit of that in just a few minutes so uh, the governance proposal did go through so we'll check this out uh, nothing for proposals up so let's check price action uh from price action standpoint we're doing exactly what i told you guys we were going to do you know really it's just a question of time how how long does it take to get there uh, what i think is going to happen and this really looks like this right here uh, uh, you know, about a 27, 28% spike in price action, probably coming up very, very soon. Now, uh, one of the things that I'm going to point out to you is, uh, you can see here, Devi down about 7%, Xverse about 11%. So you see some of these higher risk assets starting to bleed just a little bit over the last little while. Uh, you, you're seeing... Things like Pepe, which had a nice little surge kind of leveling off. You're seeing a dump here on SHIB again. So, you know, high-risk assets, 
kind of fighting just a little bit, and, and you can see that includes Luna Classic, but that won't stay that way. What we're looking for right now is a surge of Bitcoin. Bitcoin just tested 63,000, came all the way up to almost 64,000 overnight before retracing back down about $1,000. So uh, something, you know, the, the market seems to be brewing, getting ready for that next big leg up. So we should see something big happening very, very soon. However, that's going to have to apply to Luna Classic, of course, because that's what we're all here for. Now, as far as volume goes, volume down, of course, it was a weekend. No big deal. Volume comes down, sitting about 500 million market cap. USTC still getting a little bit of love out here in the market, still trading at about $30 million. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at cryptonomy.finance, you will get a random bonus of between fifty dollars and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this. Reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today for the day, down 56%. So, you know, a lot of big trading happening over on USTC. And guys, I told you that there would be a pump. Now, the question is, how high does it go? What does that look like more broadly? And we don't have an answer for that. So we'll keep you posted as soon as we know that. Now, let's get into, uh, if you haven't already, Go check out Terra Casino. This is fizzy penny slots up right now. Remember, they're giving away 2 million euros from the World Poker League as well. And there's all kinds of different tokens that you can trade over here. Luna, Luna Classic, Bitcoin, US, uh, Ethereum, um, XRP is one of them now, um, USDT, USDC, Dogecoin, um, BNB, BUSD, Polygon. A lot of different things that you can come over here and trade. And look, you owe it to yourself to take a risk. Remember, there's a potential and a possibility for you to win 2 million euros. That's not insubstantial. That is ginormous, which is, I'm told is a word. So uh, check it out. And then here is some notes. Uh, governance compensation package for Terraport is passed with a massive 48% turnout, of which 27%, 56% voted in favor. Massive thank you to the 21% voting against this proposal as well. This is a massive vote of support for Terraport and shows how active the community is in governing the project. Token subject to user choice of vesting over 10 months burn or 50% immediate release equates to 4.5 million Terra or less than 0.7% of the total supply to give some assurance and a comparison. Comparison. For these voting no, there is a lower percentage than the recent Juris airdrop. Hopefully now we can focus on building back value and taking Terra back 30x and beyond to one plus. So there you have it. Uh, the, 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 the focus now turns from the compensation plan for the hack to getting everybody uh, some value for their holdings and there'll be a, a vesting process for about 10 months for everybody who's currently sitting there. So now um, if you're trading meme coins or anything like that, then you got to come over here and you got to check out Terra. Guess what? Price has started to pump. It's up six and a half percent in the last 24 hours. So uh, now you have some opportunity here to increase your holdings. Now, as you know, I'm staked here. I only have 5,000. I've got 5,500 total uh, because I have another 500 that I bought the other day when we were doing one of the videos. Uh, so I'm still sitting on that one. I haven't staked it at this point. I'm just waiting for this whole thing to unlock 24 days over here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just do a continuation of it. We'll wrap and roll everything up into one big package and then we'll just stake it one more time and just continue doing that on this short time frame here, uh, provided that we can get in on this uh, short time frame. So um, that's that's what we're gonna do. So uh, yeah, that's it guys. Try to keep it, uh, try to keep it short for you today. Um, Look, price action, uh, we'll see what happens with the markets today. The U.S. market is about to come online. We're about to see you know, what happens here with, with uh, the, the, the entirety of the market. Are we ready for a big surge? Um, I set some buy orders on Bitcoin for 60400 because I think that we're probably going to experience a little bit of a dip. I'm not sure about that. So they may go unfilled, but I think that that's a good spot for a reversal. Seems to be a lot of... Uh, it seems to be a lot of bullish pressure when you hit 60,000 and a strong bounce, which we're getting right now. 
but I do think there's some downward pressure that we might have to deal with one more time because we got some big data in the U.S. coming out this week. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, could Luna Classic be burning a whole lot of uh, 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 a whole lot of tokens right now um, through Binance? I don't know the answer to that, but it's starting to look like something is going on. Again, that twenty billion could just be a hot wallet for another centralized exchange that Binance is is providing supply to, or it might be that we're about to witness a gigantic burn in conjunction with the burns still coming and still left on the table from Terraform Labs. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.